Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the job site. All right guys, so today we've got a 966M with a C93 throwing some emissions codes. Let's hook ET up and see what we got. All right, so back in the cab here, we've got high after treatment number one, fuel pressure after treatment number one, basically hard head failure to ignite. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys just some kind of basics on how to repair these, so hang tight. All right, so the first thing I like to do on these is to go ahead and test the fuel pressure coming out of the Ard Head fuel pump. Um, you can go into ET, go into the override parameters for the after treatment ECM, and go ahead and override that. All right, so install a manual gauge. So once you've validated that your pressure is good, go ahead and turn off your override. And then we're going to move on. All right, being that we've had this fault, we had two different faults hit around, right around the same time frame. The art head failed to ignite, and also we had a failure of the, um, or sorry, not a failure, but we had high art head fuel pressure. Um, I like to do a number of tests. Um, biggest thing I like to do, aside from an art ignition test, is I like to do a nozzle heater circuit test. With the engine off, basically what it does is it basically heats up the nozzle inside the art head and it breaks up any of that carbon or soot. All right, doing this test only takes but about three minutes, but like I said, you can do this a couple of times and basically it's just gonna heat that circuit up for you. After after passing this successfully, uh, maybe two or three times, depending on where you want to go, you want to go ahead and and um, you want to go ahead and clear your active event um, with ET. You should be able to clear it, um, and then you can actually go in and do the art ignition test and make sure that the art head's actually getting lit. Um, okay, so and see okay, what so an through. art ignition test is basically like a micro regeneration. So you're basically going to run in there. It runs it for about five minutes, and just you can validate your temperatures to make sure that the art head is actually lighting. biggest thing right there you can look into your DPF inlet temp as that climbs after the time delay okay fault still present let's continue all right, guys, so the next step is going to be basically you're going to remove the line off the art head. This should be, depending on your engine, if it's Tier 4 final or Tier 4 interim, you're going to go ahead and remove the main fuel line that comes off of the manifold going to the art head. You want to go ahead and take that off, and then you're going to go ahead and enable that fuel pump again once you started the engine for the art head, and you're going to go ahead and see if it dribbles out from there. So hang tight, and I'll show you. All right, so right now we do not have any bypassing going through the main solenoid. So our issues is stemming more towards the uh, hard head. Also, while you're at it, just validate that your uh, hard head fuel pressure is still looking good. Again, before about 270. All right, while you are at the hard head, go ahead and pull out the, uh, like I said, an A1 and go ahead and inspect it because, again, there is a filter inside there. Make sure you can blow through it. If that's the case, move further into the art head because we're still having problems not this is going to happen to everybody but when you start pulling the art head and you pull down the flame detection sensor you see wetness uh, more than likely your nozzle is clogged and that's pretty much what's causing your high fuel pressure but uh i'll go ahead and pull the art head and i'll show you guys what we look at in the inside all right so once you get the art head pulled and you start seeing well, basically a pool of fuel in the combustion tube and looks like your, your nozzle is basically clogged and fuel leaking all over the place. I think you found your problem. Well, now that we've seen basically the diagnostic steps to go ahead and repair this situation, um, you guys can have a better idea of basically the step-by-step, -step, what to check, hard head fuel pressure, make sure the fuel filters are good. Um, 
checking to make sure you're not blow you don't have any bypass going through the main solenoid or the pilot solenoid depending on your situation you may have a main and a pilot check both and again at the end of the day if you got fuel going to the art head pull the art head down see what it looks like if it looks like that you know it's bad all right guys to the next one p pump the world and i hate epa